All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're going to do something a little different here with Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to do a Cessna 172 Skyhawk G1000 guide. We're going to do a cold start, uh, takeoff, and landing over at Raleigh Durham's International Airport over at RDU Airport. And uh, what we're going to go over is my flying technique as far as doing a cold start from the uh, from from a parking lot we're going to be in parking space number 75 ramp GA medium and uh, we're going to do a cold start a interaction with ATC to uh, depart from Raleigh Durham International Airport and we got a pre-planned flight here that is going to circle around North Raleigh uh, sort of close bordering the uh, Wake Forest area and then we're going to show demonstrate our flying technique and what we do in order to uh, achieve certain things in the air and then as far as our departure and our landing so we're going to be landing in runway number 24 or 23 r uh, 23 23 right runway and then um yeah we'll park and full flight um, this is like my most realistic way or one of my most realistic ways to fly an airplane in Microsoft Flight Simulator um, This is going to be a VFR flight as opposed to the IFR and I'll demonstrate how to start the airplane from cold take off interact with ATC and Come back for the landing. So hope you guys enjoy it and uh, we're gonna get this thing on the ground here and Get ready to take off Oh, so before I go though, um, I use little nav maps for our flight planning. So we planned RDU departure from runway number five. We'll see if I, we actually get that or not. Sometimes we don't, but we'll adjust accordingly. And then I set four waypoints here for our flight plan. And then our approach we set for 23R and that is that orange one there so we're gonna get this thing on the road um, or in the air per se and um, yeah so we exported the flight plan we loaded it up into here and now we're ready to go All right, so here we are, parking spot number 75, I think. And we are in the back end of Raleigh-Durham International Airport. So we got to look at the tower there. Pushback guys, we got a uh, some of the smaller planes here. So we're in the right area. We got one guy taking, no, oh, he's landing. So we got live traffic. He's in there for a safe landing. So, all right, we will get back here in the cockpit. So there's a couple of pre-flight inspection stuff to do. Um, a lot of the stuff I'll just skip over though for time's sake. We're gonna uh, just go ahead and click the yoke off here so we can see. We got the parking brake on. We got the ignition switch off. We got um, our avionics switches, both, both bus one and two are off. And then we're going to turn on our alternator and our battery and we're going to check our primary flight display and make sure that that turns on which it does and then we're going to um, go ahead and check here and make sure that our fuel enunciators are not lit up so we actually have fuel which right now we are sitting at 50 percent so we are good on fuel and then we check to make sure that our oil pressure, low vacuum um, enunciators are on. So low vacuum, low oil pressure are on. That is a good sign. Um, we're gonna turn on 
uh, our avionics bus one make sure that we check to hear the fan turn on and it does do the same thing with number two and then we're good to go and can turn that off and then we are going to check our pitot heat we turn that on make sure that that is all functioning and well and then we can turn that off and then we want to make sure that our low voltage right here enunciator is on and then we can turn off our master alternator and battery so we don't drain the battery so that's our pre-flight inspection there pretty much uh, we always do want to check our trim to make sure that it's zero and that's in takeoff position and also the fuel selector is on both so we don't have just it on the left or the right wing and then we want to make sure that our static pressure alternator source valve um, is in the on position so moving on to our before the start um, starting the engine inspection um, you pretty much want to do a complete pre-flight inspection of the plane kind of looking for everything making sure that there's no uh, cracks bumps in anything and then also make sure that your seat belts work and are adjusted that your brakes are tested and all your circuit breakers are pushed in but these are unfunctional in Microsoft Flight Simulator and then moving on we want to make sure that all our electronics are off that's our beacon lights our landing lights our taxi lights navigation strobe and our fuel pump switch pitot heat and um, this one that's unoperatable in Microsoft Flight Simulator so all those are off and then you want to make sure that your both bus 1 and 2 avionics are off your fuel selector again is on both and that your fuel shutoff valve is in the open position or on position now in order to start the engine from a cold state like this what you want to do is one you want to open up your throttle about a quarter of the quarter quarter percent so you want to move to about 25 percent give or take sometimes it's tricky to get on there with the mouse and then you want to make sure that your mixture is cut off this is your fuel mixture so you cut that off and um, you want to do your standby battery switch. So first you want to test it for 20 seconds. You want to make sure that this green light stays true when you're holding the test button down for 20 seconds. All right, so we did that. And then the next thing is to arm your standby battery switch and verify that the uh, primary flight dis uh, primary flight display turns on. So we arm that. This will turn on. And then you want to check your uh, engine indicating systems. So that's all here as far as your oil temp, your vacuum, and your oil pressure and your RPMs. So everything is good to go there and the next thing that you want to check is to make sure that your volts are 24 or above now we're on a sort of a time ticking um, situation here more that this is on the more that that will drop so we're going to have to get moving here and keep moving forward so you also want to check to make sure that your m bus volts are 1.5 or less that's the number to the left so 0.0, .0 we are good uh, battery S amps you want to verify check discharge that is your amps down here we're at negative 5 so we have negative discharge which is good and then um, standby battery enunciator check is on so there's your standby battery enunciator that is on you want to basically at this point in real life what you would do is yell out clear and that's for the uh, giving everybody around the airplane clear uh, notice that you're going to start your propeller system. So 
next thing to do now is to turn on um, both your master switches alternator and battery we turn that on we want to move our fuel mixture to rich which is all the way in and then your um, auxiliary or fuel pump you want to turn on for about three to five seconds and then switch it off and that's over here so one two three four five and then we can turn off that basically primes the engine and then you want to make sure that your mixture now is set to lean so we're going to pull that out a little bit and then you want to make sure that your feet are clear from any obstacles and then now we are ready to start the engine so we're going to turn the key to the start position turn that on engine is running we can now move our mixture to rich so now we got the engine on and we're going to adjust our throttle to 1000 rpms that's basically idle there you go 1010 is close enough there and then the next thing you want to do is make sure that your oil pressure is in the green at that point and verify once again that um, your amps, your both your M and S are um, charged so shown. So we got 22 um, both amps. So now the engine is basically charging our battery. And then you want to make sure that your low voltage enunciator turns off, which our enunciators are empty at this point. And then now at this point we can turn both our bus 1 and bus 2 avionics switches on. So we got bus 1, bus 2 that turns on our navigation system. And then we can click on the enter system. So here is our pre-planned flight that we loaded in there. And we want to make sure at this point that our flaps are up and our flaps on the um, Cessna Skyhawk here are hidden behind the co-pilot's uh, yoke. So we're going to make sure that it's in the up position. We got zero flaps. And now we are basically ready to taxi. So what we're gonna do at this point is communicate with ATC. So we're gonna pull up the tower and we're going to contact ground and we're going to request taxi to the north. Um, boom, right there. Ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha with Kilo request taxi for takeoff north departure. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha taxi to and hold short of runway 2 tree left using taxiway Papa Golf. Contact tower on 127.45 when ready. All right, we'll acknowledge the taxi clearance. Taxiing hold short runway two tree left via taxiway Papa Golf says the Golf Sierra Alpha. All right, so they did not give us the uh, Ground Airbus, November 6th, runway that we were looking for. Airbus, November 6, 5, 2, Kilo, Bravo, we'll lower the calm here on the ATC. So I'm not talking over them or talking at the same time as they are. All right, so we originally asked for uh, runway 05 left and they did not give it to us. So we just have to make a small adjustment, no big deal. Um, so we're gonna be taxiing over to runway number 23 left. So what we're going to do is release the parking brake at this point. I'm just going to adjust my view. And we are going to taxi over hold short of 23 left.
All right, here's runway 23 left. It's pretty close by, so that is good. So we're going to go here, stop here for one second, and we are going to adjust a few things here in preparation for our takeoff. So we're going to adjust our heading to match our flight plan because we're going to be taking off the opposite direction, and then we're going to turn around and hit that. And then the other thing that we're going to adjust is our altitude, which we had a pre-flight plan of 1,500 feet above sea level. And now we are ready to contact the tower for clearance to take off. Raleigh Tower says the Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha ready for north departure at runway 2 tree left. We just got to acknowledge takeoff clearance, but she's still talking, so we can't just yet. But we're checking the skyways here, making sure that nobody is coming or going. Sky clear to the right. Cleared for takeoff runway two tree left Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. We got somebody coming in there, so we're going to go ahead and take off. So we're going to pull out onto runway 23 left and go ahead and take off. We're about three quarters throttle right now. Now we're going full throttle. Whoop, we got somebody. Somebody clearing us there. They're doing a touch and go. Alright, we are above the white arc now on our speedometer, so we are clear to take off here and lift up. So at this point we got clearance, we're going to turn autopilot on, our heading selector on, and our FLC mode on. That's our uh, Altitude of 1,500 feet. So we're going to check our RPMs here. We're still good at 2,600. We are not in the red zone. Oil and pressure, oil temp and pressure are good. We got clearance for north departure. We're going to see if we can connect to GPS or nav mode. Not yet, so we'll remain on our heading mode. And we're going to adjust our heading to go closer to our flight plan. As we get closer to our flight plan here, we should be able to connect to our nav mode. There we go, we got GPS. Our 
RPMs are a little high, so now that we leveled off, so we can reduce our throttle down to about 90%. Raleigh Durham being one of the busier airports. Alright, so now that we are in our cruise speed of about 122 knots, our throttle is set at about 90%. The first part of our planned flight is nine miles. And if you look at our navigation system here, it tells you how far to the next waypoint we are. So we're about three minutes out from the next waypoint. So now you can just kind of enjoy the view and see what you have going on around you. So off to the right, we got uh, Lynn Lake. Raleigh Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha frequency change. Raleigh Approach Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha is type Cessna Skyhawk five miles east of Raleigh, 1,500 feet. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha Raleigh Approach. Squawk Tree 705. Squawk Tree 705 Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. Alright, so basically what that was, ATC gave us a frequency change as we were moving a little further away from the airport, and we tuned to a different frequency, made contact with them, verified contact, and he gave us what the uh, barometric pressure was, which was 29.92. We were already set at that, so no adjustment is needed there. We are at one minute until our next waypoint, which is going to be by the Triangle Town Center. So the Triangle Town Center is sitting out right here, which is a mall in North Raleigh. I picked this location because I lived in Raleigh for about 10 years um, up to where we're actually going to be flying over the house I, the first house I ever bought, which was in uh, Bedford off of Falls Noose. making our left hand turn here. Alright, we're going to be crossing over 540, which is a loop around Raleigh. Making sure ATC didn't say anything to us and missed it. Alright, so we are coming up to that is a Paris Teeter. And this is, uh, what road is that? 
time might draw on a blank. But nonetheless, the house that we, uh, first house that we ever bought was actually right down here. In this area right here. And then the next stop in our destination is oh, Falls and News Road. That's what it was. So that's Falls and News Road right here. And this is Falls Lake. And there's a dam up here that I used to take my dog Brooklyn. He, we used to uh, do a lot of walks up there. So we're up by Falls Lake. And we're following our flight plan here. So we're more than halfway through and we have, let's see, 5.5 miles to the top of our descent and then we're going to start heading down and decreasing our elevation down to, uh, to the runway on 23R. So we're going to go ahead and select the airport, RDU. We're going to tune to tower. Molly Tower, Critter 535, ready for IFR departure, runway 23 left. Critter 535, hold short, runway 23 left. Traffic is Airbus A20 and on final. Now it's a busy airport, so it seems like they got a lot going on today, so hopefully Critter they give us runway 23 right. Left frontier, flight 1517 heavy. If not, we'll make adjustments accordingly. Raleigh Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha is 10 miles northeast, 1,500 feet with Kilo to land. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha Molly Tower. Altimeter 2 Niner, decimal Niner 2, wind 27 Niner at 4. Fly straight and runway 2 tree right. Alright, fantastic. So they gave us a, a runway, or approach pattern of fly straight into runway 23 right so that's perfect for us so we're going to acknowledge that make straight in runway 23 right Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha Frontier flight 1517 heavy exit runway when able and then as we get closer they're going to give us clearance for landing or tell us uh, give us other directions in order to land at the airport so hopefully they just give us clearance for landing, but we will remain in pattern. And as we get ready for our descent now, we are going to adjust our altitude to about um, 500 feet above what the runway is. So we're going to set this to about 984 feet and we're going to go into FLC mode and then reduce our throttle in order to make our descent. Not too much or else you'll just plummet down but just, just enough to reduce the speed and start your descent. That's just going to be a feel thing. And then once we uh, get down to our 984 feet, which we we're crossing over 1,000, our speed's going to drop because we reduced our throttle. And we want to reduce our throttle until the top of the white arc, which in the Cessna 172 looks like 85 knots. And once we get to that, we will deploy our landing, or no, landing gear is already down on this, but we're going to reduce our flaps. And we got runway in sight. Um, that is reducing down nicely. We'll go a little bit more. And the reasoning for the white arc is if you deploy your flaps too soon, you have the potential of damaging them. So we're going to acknowledge clearance to land. Now once we do these flaps, 
we're going to slow down even more because it's introducing more drag to the plane, so we're going to increase our throttle a little more to counteract that drag. And we want to stay around the top of the white arc for our landing. And we can take off autopilot at this point. We're going to adjust our trim because right now it's at 7% and it's pushing us up a little higher. So at this point what we're going to do is just keep an eye on our speed here and make sure that uh, we're not going too slow or too fast. So we want to maintain around that 70 something mile an hour or 70 knots as we make our approach towards the runway. And we're just keeping a focus on the um, front threshold of the runway and making sure we're lined up. I'm checking my wind which is coming in our face a little bit right to left at four knots. And with all these people around, I hope everybody's following what ATC is saying because I see somebody on the uh, entryway to 23 left or 23 right. It looks like he's pulling out onto the runway or at least inching up to it. So he should have directions on holding, but he is not. He's going on to the runway. You're going to get that with Microsoft Flight Simulator when you're looking at the uh, live players. But, I mean, he's got time to take off. So hopefully he doesn't sit there too long. We're at 70 knots. All right, looks like he's turning around. So we're going to be flying either over him or right by him. So we got a joker there, SKW4078. So they said to go around. Going around Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. Going to one tree, two decimal tree five, critter five tree five. Airbus six Romeo Mike, turn next taxiway. So we're going to request another runway. Going to one tree zero decimal one seven five Airbus six Romeo Mike. Airbus zero Foxtrot Echo go around. American two zero four zero heavy contact Raleigh approach on one two seven decimal six seven five. Good day. Raleigh Tower Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha would prefer runway two tree left. Traffic runway two tree left Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. Going to one tree two decimal tree five sky west four zero seven eight heavy. All right, so now we got Going to one runway two, two three left six, seven, five, because the guy was on the air on the runway and they canceled our two, four, seven, eight, flight intentions. So we're gonna cross two, over the airport four. here. We're going to line up to runway 23 left. And 
and we're in a left traffic pattern. So runway 23 left is a shorter runway right here, so we're going to fly parallel to it. This is runway 23 left right here, so we're going to fly out just a little bit and then come down here and they should give us clearance for land. Or no, they already gave us clearance for land. Or no, that was somebody else. So they should give us clearance for land sometime soon. I think we're going to follow this guy in for 23 left. Clear to land runway 23 left Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. Yeah, United 2478 was cleared for landing on runway 23 left. So we're going to follow this guy in. So we got to wait for him. Normally at this time what I do is I'll go out into exterior mode and make sure that he passes. And then we'll follow him in. It's like a little interception mission here. So we just got to get behind that UAL 2478 and we can land over in runway 23 left. Right behind them. speed check we can reduce our throttle a little bit because we're at 93 knots that's our 500 feet above ground I'm not going to go around. I'm landing. There's nobody here. I got clear. We got to end the video soon, right? So I'm just going to cut the throttle here. They're going to tell us that we don't have clearance to land. But now I'm pulling up, keeping the nose up just above. And we're going to let the ground come meet us. I mean, I could spend there all day until you give me clearance. So if we're going to land the plane, we're all safe and sound. We can get the fine and move on. Uh, so we're going to exit the runway here.
And then we are going to get a parking spot right up behind the guy that we followed in here with. So there's 2478. This was the guy that was in the air. We're going to contact ground. 121 decimal niner Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. Goodbye. And request taxi to parking. Raleigh Ground Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Alpha request taxi to parking. Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra Alpha taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Bravo Alpha Golf Papa. All right, so we'll acknowledge the taxi. Taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Bravo Alpha Golf Papa Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. And we'll head on back to uh, the parking spot that we were in, or close to it anyway. And then we will shut down. I'll show you the shutdown procedure, it's pretty quick. Just go ahead and park up by these parking spots over here. Normally don't cut through the parking area like that. Follow the taxi lines, but it's pretty clear open now, so we can do that. And we're going to go ahead and take this parking spot over here. these guys all right so we are good to go we're gonna set our parking brake there that is set we can turn our yokes back on so we're gonna pull our throttle all the way out and we're just going to turn our key to shut the propellers off and then we will turn off both our master switches here, or alternator and battery, and we are good to go. So that is basically how I fly in the most realistic manner as possible, from cold start to shutdown. And um, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you uh, took anything you wanted to take away from this video, and we will see you on the next one. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Check out our NeoFly career mode and our other um, tour adventures that we got going on. We're currently uh, flying around in Hawaii in the 172. And uh, we're currently in the um, Cessna Citation CJ4 in our NeoFly career. So look forward to that. And um, I enjoy making these videos. Hope you guys enjoy watching them. And we will see you on the next one.